A question. Do you believe in aliens? 54% of Americans certainly do, and just as many think that the little green men have been down here to visit us. Now personally, when I occasionally wake up in the morning feeling sore and confused, I'm willing to admit that the culprit was likely one too many apple teenies rather than aliens. And that's because I like evidence, and we have almost none of it to suggest that extraterrestrial visitations have ever been a thing true. There have been nearly 200 separate reports of UFOs, but they're exactly as defined, unidentified flying objects. Just because we don't know what they are doesn't automatically mean they belong to ET. So what hard evidence is there for aliens, either down here on Earth or out in the cosmos? Well, let's start with crop circles, because they're fun. Most common in the UK, they appear overnight in fields of wheat and barley. The stalks aren't cut, but they're laid flat over large areas to create beautiful and complicated geometric patterns when you look down from above. But what could cause such magnificently mysterious shapes to suddenly and miraculously appear? I hear you yell. It must be aliens. Well, if it is, then they've only really been visiting since the 1970s. They have a distinct preference for crop fields easily accessible by road. And despite the vast surface of Earth available to them, they keep choosing to come back here to the UK. If we didn't know any better, we might be tempted to think that they could have been made by people sneaking out in the middle of the night to fool us all. And in fact, in 1991, two men from Winchester confessed to having created many of the British crop circles that have been documented over the years. But they haven't laid claim to all of them, so there is still a chance that aliens are involved. However, the lack of any other accompanying evidence of extraterrestrials makes it a lot more likely that they're all the product of copycat hoaxes. But what about the photos and the videos of alien spaceships and alien structures, Greg, I hear you cry? Whether it's faces and figures on Mars or nuclear power plants on the moon or the ubiquitous flying saucer in Earth's own skies, the internet has no shortage of grainy, wobbly photos of things that if you squint and you tip your head on the side could look like they've been made by alien hands. The thing is, once you take a closer look, it turns out that most of these supposedly mysterious alien structures can actually be explained by relatively simple natural or known phenomena. Rocks can crack and tumble in any random shape. Craters can look incredibly regular. And it's thanks to our remarkable ability to spot a pattern when we see one that we can pick out those times when the landscape suddenly appears planned. And those flying saucers? Well, if they're not hoaxes, then they could be new innovations in aerospace engineering or, or a simply normal flying machine seen at a weird angle. All of these options are more probable than invoking an entirely new extraterrestrial civilization. So, so far, it's not looking so good for the committed alien hunter. But all is not lost. There are some phenomena that have evaded rational explanation and could conceivably be evidence of alien life out there in the cosmos. Back in 1977, the aptly named Big Ear Telescope in Ohio was being used to listen out to radio signals coming from the stars. This careful listening has been the basis of much of SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, based on the theory that an advanced alien civilization will, like us, be intentionally or accidentally beaming radio signals out into space. Some of the world's most powerful radio telescopes have been used in the search since 1960, but on the whole, they've turned up nothing of note. That is, except at Big Ear in 1977. On August the 15th, the telescope picked up an intense flash of radio energy right in the frequency that astronomers would expect from an intelligent source. It seemed to be coming from the constellation of Sagittarius, and registering on the paper readout to over 30 times the background noise, astronomer Jerry Ehrman circled it and wrote, wow, in the margin. It's now known among the SETI community as the WOW signal, and even 40 years on, we still don't know exactly what caused it. Part of the problem is that the radio shout hasn't been heard since, despite astronomers having searched over 50 times. 
And without the chance to make repeat observations, there's simply no way of saying if the wow signal was our first radio broadcast from an alien race, or simply a product of natural cosmic processes or secret military operations. Airman's wow signal isn't the only space mystery that could be explained by ET though. Most recently, in 2015, a star was spotted by citizen science exoplanet hunters, which showed unusual fluctuations in its brightness that were not easily explained by the orbiting of planets. Tabby's star, as it's affectionately known, is occasionally dimmed by up to 22% of its normal brightness, presumably by something passing in front and obscuring part of it. But scientists aren't sure exactly what that something is. Some suggest comet fragments, but it's unlikely that so many would be around to block 22% of the light. Another option is something known as a Dyson Swarm, which is sadly not a fleet of sentient vacuum cleaners. It's actually a theoretical alien megastructure designed to capture as much of a star's energy as possible. Placing a network of solar panels all the way around a star in three dimensions would intercept its radiation in all directions, providing almost limitless energy for the extraterrestrials and blocking the light to any outside observers like us. Now, the leap from weird star flickers to highly advanced alien civilizations is a big one, to say the least. Scientists are understandably skeptical, but until an alternative explanation can be found, the ET theory has got to stay on the table. Sadly though, that's about the best we can do for extraterrestrial evidence for now. Although if and when it does come along, it, it remains to be seen whether we will really spot it amongst all those hoaxes and hopefuls out there. So, do you think we will be finding E.T. anytime soon? Oh, I'm also looking forward to hearing all of your alien abduction tales in the comments below, please. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe for more science questions answered. See you soon.